Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. This week we've been hit by the headlines that the universe might not be flat. This seems to have everyone on the internet so confused. It seems that the average person doesn't have the shape of the universe on their mind. But since we scientists openly argue with flat earthers on the daily basis, how can we be so sure that the universe is flat and why might it not be? In this week's video, I'll be talking about the geometry of the universe and how it ultimately determines the fate of all of the universe. The shape of the universe is actually what a scientist called space-time curvature. And when I say space-time, what I mean is the fabric that makes up the universe that we live in. The curvature parameter is actually really important one in cosmology because it's directly related to energy momentum of matter. As the famous theoretical physicist John Wheeler once put it, space-time tells matter how to move and matter tells space-time how to curve. On very small scales, for example around black holes, space-time is curved. It's a very simple concept that allows us to describe gravity. But the curvature parameter that we're interested in describes what the geometry is on large scales, on the entire universe scale. The shape of the universe and hence its curvature can take on three different values and they depend on how much matter there is in it. If the density of matter in the universe is very high, the universe curves into a sphere or an ellipsoid. And the curvature parameter is positive. This is what we call a closed universe. And in such a scenario, objects that are traveling in parallel lines would eventually converge together. And the sum of angles of any triangle drawn on the surface is always greater than 180 degrees. The consequence of such a universe is that the gravity of all that matter will eventually stop the expansion of the universe and contract it down until we get what we call a big crunch, essentially a reversal of the Big Bang. If the density in the universe is very low, then the shape of the universe will be saddle-like and the curvature will be negative. This is what we call an open universe. And in this scenario, objects traveling in straight lines will eventually diverge. And as you add up angles in any triangles, they'll be less than 180 degrees. In this kind of universe, there's not enough matter to stop the accelerating expansion of the universe. And eventually we could end up with a big rip. Not only do the galaxies get torn apart, but also all of the atoms in our universe too. If there's the perfect amount of matter in the universe, then the universe can be flat and the curvature would be zero. In a flat universe, parallel lines really are parallel and angles in triangles add up to 180 degrees. Here, the universe will either continue expanding and cooling, eventually slowing down to a stop, and the universe will end up in a big freeze. All the planets will be separated from their host stars and a very cold universe would follow. There are many other fates of universe scenarios, but these three are the most likely. Scientists are pretty certain that the universe is flat. Inflation, the period of rapid expansion of the universe shortly after the Big Bang, is a widely accepted paradigm since it solves some problems with the Big Bang. But it also naturally results in a very flat universe. Any anisotropies or inhomogeneities in the early universe would be smoothed out by the rapid expansion, and any curvature would also be reduced. Of course, that's all theoretical, but there are plenty of observational evidence that the universe is flat too. Just to name a few, you could measure the distances to supernova 1a. You could measure the baryonic acoustic oscillations, which are a characteristic peak in separation of galaxies in the universe. 
or you could measure the fluctuations in the temperature of the cosmic microwave background, or CMB. This is a radiation from the very early universe, and all of these things and many more are sensitive to the curvature of the universe. As the CMB radiation travels to us today, it's gravitationally lensed by any intervening matter. Its intensity is distorted by the gravity of that matter. A recent study using the Planck satellite showed that the amount of gravitational lensing of the CMB is much larger than what we expected. And this could be explained if the universe is curved rather than flat, since the radiation could uh, make multiple trips around the universe and lens it even more. But there's a known problem with Planck, and the problem is that it has several disagreements with other observational methods. And having a closed universe only increases that difference. You might think that this is due to systematics with the Planck satellite. However, an older CMB satellite, WMAP, similarly found evidence of a closed universe. So unfortunately, the shape of the universe is still an unsolved mystery that has scientists puzzled. And it's an important one if we want to figure out how our universe ends up. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. Let me know in the comments section below what you think the shape of the universe might be. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.